Hi guys, today I'm going to answer a question that quite a lot of you have asked in the last month or so, which is, how do you play lead guitar in a Noel Gallagher style? So the first thing we're going to do is very quickly recap the rules of soloing. The first thing you need to know is the notes of the low E string. So we've got E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, and E. To solo in the style of Noel Gallagher, you only really need one scale shape, which is called the pentatonic box. I'm going to play it for you here from fret 5. <laughs> It's a very simple shape, it's easy to remember. Let me do that one more time for you. So, to figure out how to solo like Noel Gallagher, you need to know the key of the song you are playing in. So let's say we are soloing in A minor. We need to find the note A on the low E string. So, E. F sharp, G, G sharp, A. There's A, the fifth fret of the low E string. If it's A minor, we just play that pentatonic box from the keynote, which is A, the fifth fret. And that's the scale you would use to solo Noel style in A minor. Well, it's A major. If it's A major, you find the key note on the low E string, which is the 5th fret, A, and you go down 3. So if we were in A major, like Champagne Supernova, for example, you would play your solo scale 3 frets lower from the 2nd fret. Let's try a different example. Let's say we were going to solo in E minor. We find E. So we can do it here, the open E, just an open E string, or we can do it up here on the 12th fret, which is an octave higher. Now, what if we change the E minor to an E major? Well, we do the same thing. We find the E. 12th fret, and we go down, 3. So if you're going to solo in E major, you solo from the 9th fret with your pentatonic box. So, you know the key that your song is in, you know the position you are playing your solo in. What next? Well, if the chords to the song are diatonic, meaning they basically are in the major scale, you can use any note from that scale in any order and it should work. So you could, theoretically, do a whole solo that's just random note after random note, you know, just hitting bizarre disjointed notes in the scale. You could do that. It wouldn't be the most musical sounding thing though. So to help you, come up with some ideas and develop some solos, I'm going to give you five licks to go into your personal solo lick library that you can pull out when you're doing a solo while you're kind of thinking what to do next. These are musical commas, musical ums, that just keep you playing while you're deciding what you're going to do next. And each of these five licks is taken directly from Noel Gallagher's lead playing to help you get a bit closer to emulating his sound if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to demonstrate each of these licks in A minor from the 5th fret, but they will work in any key. So the first lick is called the pentatonic roll and it goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I picked, I alternate picked it, but you can use hammer-ons. <laughs> So this is one of Noel's most signature licks. He uses it very frequently, and you can hear him use it at the end of the Live Forever solo, where he goes. You can also hear it in Champagne Supernova, where he goes. It's a nice easy one because all of the notes are just right there side by side. You just go five, hammer on to a seven, next string, five, hammer on to a seven, next string, five. Hammer, hammer. Now let's move on to lick number two, unison bends. So if we climb up the scale, these are the two notes that we need. The seven on the G and the five on the B. Those two notes. If you're in a different key, in a different position, it will still work. A unison bend is where you hit both of these notes together, but you push this one here, the lower note, you push it up to meet this note. So you're bending this one up while also hitting this one. Now it takes a bit of practice to get that right. So index finger on the five of the B, ring finger, and you want your middle finger as well underneath it on the same string to help push. And really for this, you want your thumb round here as well. You don't want your thumb on the back, you want it here to help close in like a vice as you squeeze. So hit them both at the same time, using both of these fingers, bend just the G and not the B. You can do it a whole octave higher if you want. It's a very powerful, biting note, and it's one that Noel uses all the time. There's a section of the long extended outro solo in Colombia, for example, where for ages and ages and ages he's just doing that. I think he does it for like at least eight bars or something, maybe 16. He also finishes the Dump Back in Anger solo with that same. That same unison bend. Lick number three, G and B string double stops. So let me walk you through the shapes. Index finger, press down on the five of the B and the G. That's your first shape. And then you bring on your middle finger to the six of the B and your ring finger to the seven of the G. That's position two. Then you slide everything up two frets. That's position three. Now Noel does this in various different solos. He does it in She's Electric where he goes. He does it in Some Might Say where he goes. For lick four, we're gonna do a different set of double stops. We're gonna do blues double stops on the G and B strings. So, you need to put your pinky and your ring finger on the seven of the G and the B strings. Now you'll notice that this note, the seven on the B string is not in the scale. The scale goes eight, five, eight, five. And here we're hitting a note that is not in the scale. But bear with me, it'll work. We're gonna hit the two sevens, then we're gonna bend them both, 
up and then unbend them. And then come down to this. Two fives. Noel Gallagher uses that regularly. He uses it in Rock and Roll Star. He also uses it in Bring It On Down, around the 3 minutes 26 mark, where he just keeps going. In isolation, that sounds fairly discordant. But in the context of the song, it gives this really cool, strange, bluesy sound. And the last lick, lick 5, occurs on the highest note of the solo scale on the B string and the highest note of the solo scale on the E string. So here's our solo scale again. It's these two, the two eights that we're going to look at. Noel tends to use these two notes, the two eights on the B and the E string, he uses them to crescendo at the high point of a solo and he tends to position shift up there with his first finger and he uses his ring finger to hammer on two frets higher on the B and the E string. So he can do this. And he does that little combination of high pentatonic rolls and double stops right at the top there, at the end of Slide Away, at the end of Don't Look Back in Anger. It's very simple, but it's very effective and very melodic. So, as you practice those five licks and try to also develop your own sound and style, one of the most important things to remember is you become good at soloing by soloing. So anyone who is just starting out with soloing, who is just trying to get confident with using that pentatonic box, a great place to start is to just go on YouTube and type in guitar jam track in A minor and loads of great options will come up. Just pick a jam track, let it play and noodle along play using that pentatonic scale, just meandering up and down it, trying this note, trying that note, seeing what works. Remember, you can play two notes at a time. You can do string bends, you can do hammer-ons and pull-offs if you know about them yet. You can do slides, you can add vibrato. And the more you practice and the more you solo along to backing tracks, the more you will start to develop your own personal lick library of little flourishes and little runs that are yours personally that you composed. For now, feel free to use these ones from Noel's lick library, use them and in time you might decide to just give them a tweak here and there and make them yours or you might decide you like them exactly as they are and if that's the case, more power to you. Have fun looking around with those and for those of you who've been asking for a video on some slightly more advanced soloing stuff, that's coming, so watch this space.